is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be doing a video that i have not done in quite a while i've done a few of these in the past but it's been so long that i think it is time that we update this video and talk about the attires that mattel needs to make the ones that i would love to see them make maybe you guys agree with me i would love to know down in the comment section when this video is over but we are today going to discuss the wwe action figure attires that i would like to see you know specific attires that mattel needs to make in figure your form that I would like to have on my shelf in our collections and uh, you know I'm not going to really include a bunch of guys that you know we haven't gotten or stuff like that you know Viking Raiders such as that I'm talking about specific attires that people have worn to the ring where I'm like damn Brad that's a good football team right there we need that in figure form so that is pretty much what this video is about so let's shut the hell up and dive into these figures guys let's start things off with a Rey Mysterio figure we're talking about the Joker Rey Mysterio and this custom was made by Angel who is the customizer of G Natty, obviously, and this is a beautiful custom. I think he did a fantastic job, and I love the colors of it. I think if Mattel were able to make it, or if they were to make it, I think that they would do the same thing with the colors. Very saturated, very bright, and I love when Mattel does the bright colors. It just pops off. They look so good on the shelf, you know, not just always black attires and really dark attires. I love when they get the colors in there and they pop off. They're really, really nice, and I think they would do a great job on it, especially me loving the Rey Mysterio figures, the way they've been making them here lately, man. They are fantastic, so I would love to see a Joker Rey Mysterio. I think it was it Survivor Series. I can't remember what the hell this, this attire was from, but there it is nonetheless. Joker Rey Mysterio had to be on the list. Let's move on to my man Seth Rollins. Guys, you know he had to be in the video. Another custom by Angel and G Natty. We got the Avengers attire for Seth Rollins, which he wore shortly after WrestleMania when he won the Universal Championship. This is a beautiful attire, man. Just through and through with the Universal Championship around the waist with the basic 102 head sculpt on it. It is just a fabulous piece man what a beautiful figure and attire this is that really dark dark blue almost black blue if you will with the red and the silver and white just really contrasts well really pops off and I know it doesn't look like we're probably going to get this figure anytime soon if we do get it I know this figure this attire wasn't included in the Wrestlemania fan vote line that we're supposed to be getting in 2021 so I don't know when we're going to get this figure but I hope to god that we do get this attire at some point and, I, I, you know, our luck, we're probably going to get it in a battle pack or basic, you know what I'm saying, Brad, but... Hopefully we get this thing in an Elite, and I know it would be Elite. I mean, look at this thing. It's so beautiful. Beautiful custom, and uh, I had to include this one, guys. Let's move on to our next one. Now, this one could be, you know, his Return Royal Rumble attire, or it could be his WrestleMania 36 gear. I'm talking none other than the Rated R Superstar Edge. This custom was made by Mac Decals, who is fantastic, one of the best customizers in the game, and I love both of them. If I had to pick, I think I would go with the WrestleMania 36 gear. I personally like the gray better. I like the chrome shoes slash boots that he was wearing underneath his kick pads man that those were fantastic i really wanted to see some up close images of those by the maker of that attire i don't think they actually uploaded it but this is a perfect formula for edge and i i gotta have it either like i think i'd rather have wrestlemania 36 but a wrestle or a, Ro a royal rumble 2020 return edge figure would be just as good to me what do you guys think would you rather have the red royal rumble return which is a probably a you know better moment or would you ha rather have the wrestlemania 36 attire or you know what they could do brad they could give it to us in a series like 83 or something like that and do a chase variant version where they gave us the royal rumble and the wrestlemania 36 i'm just throwing my hands up brad that's what i would do if i were booking things but uh you gotta have a return edge and we gotta have it in those two gears because that's the only two gears we've really seen in him seen him in so i had to include those let's move on to another mac decals custom and my boy dolph ziggler i really want to see another bright attire i know that we got the pink elite 70 but this one is beautiful as well the yellow slash gold and black zebra stripes are so beautiful guys you know what i'm talking about they fit the mdt theme they're just so beautiful this figure looks great by mac and I had to include this attire. I really like it a lot. And I'm a big Dolph Ziggler guy, so I wanted to include it here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I did want to plug this attire in. If we're talking about attires I want to see from Mattel, I had to include this Dolph Ziggler. I think a lot of people will agree with me on this one, guys. Another Mac Decals custom that is so beautiful. A WrestleMania 32 AJ Styles where he took on Chris Jericho. I know people have been wanting this figure forever, and this is a 
perfect embodiment of what we could have if Mattel were to give it to us. I want to say they made a basic of this attire. If they didn't make a basic of this attire, it was very, very similar to this attire in the white and red. And what a beautiful figure, man. I mean, I think anybody would agree. We just need a red tights AJ Styles. I don't know what it is, but we cannot get a red tights AJ Styles. We literally have like seven black ones. We got some, uh, we got some blue ones before. We've seen lime green before, and we've seen all the different black with different accents, but God in heaven, can we get a red tights AJ Styles, specifically WrestleMania 32. I think that a lot of people would enjoy that. You could give it, you know, a newer head sculpt of a throwback AJ Styles with a shorter soccer mom haircut, you know, when it was shorter at WrestleMania 32. You don't have to reuse that same head sculpt that we got with Elite 47. You could give us some new tooling, a new head sculpt with the shorter hair mold, and this figure would be phenomenal. Pun intended, Brad. What a great figure. What an attire that I would love to see. And I had to include that one here today in the video. Let's move it forward, guys. We got a throwback figure. We have a Shawn Michaels figure. Now, this is one of my favorite Shawn Michaels attire. Another Mac Decals custom that looks beautiful. I think it's one of my favorite Shawn Michaels attires, guys. I just love the black and white with the red and silver thrown in there with those hearts. I just love the white and black zebra stripes. It's just such a beautiful looking pattern that they put on here that Mac did. And uh, I would love to see this from Mattel, man. I want to see better HBKs. I feel like we don't have a lot of his great attires. I really want to get some great attires. Zebra stripes mainly with all of his different gears. And hopefully we can get some. I know that Shawn Michaels will be a guy they make forever. So uh, hopefully we can get some of these attires thrown in here. But let's move on to another flashback. And I know that Kurt Angle was released. So this one kind Kind of is a, you know, it's kind of iffy, but I do want to go to Unforgiven 2001 where Kurt Angle captured the WWF Championship. Now, this one is beautiful and it's nostalgic for me, so I would love to see it. Another Mac Decals custom, and it is so freaking beautiful. He nailed this one completely. I actually already have a custom of this in my collection, but it's such a beautiful piece. I don't ever want to move it, so I do want an official Mattel one so that I can take it down, pose it around, and do all the good stuff with it. But Kurt Angle was released. I do know that, so I doubt we'll get one very soon, but maybe they can sign him back on, or maybe he's still on a merch deal. I don't know. You know, people get fired and still are on merch deals. I don't know how that works, but uh, maybe one day we could get it. But there is Kurt Angle. We had to throw in a Jeff Hardy figure, guys, and this is a throwback Jeff Hardy, WrestleMania 25, made by Angel. For, uh, you know, G Natty's customizer, and he did a fantastic job on this one. I love the face paint. Honestly, you could plug any throwback Jeff Hardy from any previous pay per view, any previous moment. I will take any Jeff Hardys. You guys know I love to collect the Hardy figures. I love this figure. I think it's fantastic. The purple pops off, the armbands are great, and it doesn't have to be this specific moment. Honestly, this is just a placeholder for any Jeff Hardy throwbacks they want to make us because I will absolutely purchase them, and they will be great. So, this Jeff Hardy is beautiful, and I had to throw in any flashback face paint Jeff Hardy I will definitely take it. I'll take any non-face paint. You know, it's Jeff Hardy. I'll take it, man. I'll put it up on the shelf. It'll look beautiful. But let's move on to the Legend Killer, guys. We have a throwback Randy Orton figure, and this one is just fantastic, man. Unforgiven 2004. This one is nostalgic for me as well. I love the powder blue. I kind of, you know, it's kind of like San Diego Chargers attire right here with the gold lettering and the blue. Just so fantastic. It's another Angel Styles custom, guys. Another Angel figure, and he nailed this. It's such a beautiful custom, such a beautiful figure. Again, the attire is just fantastic. You gotta have a throwback Orton. You know, all the Ortons we get are black attires nowadays. We need some colorful trunks in this hoe. And what better attire than this one? I had to throw Randy Orton in there. Since it's my boy, you know, had to get him in there. But let's move on, guys. We have another Mac Decals Custom, and it is Johnny Gargano in the Iron Man attire. Now, this one's probably going to be difficult. I know we've gotten, you know, Marvel-themed stuff before, but they probably have to leave off some, you know, some different deco and stuff because of the likeness of Iron Man on this gear. Um, but what a beautiful custom by Mac, and what a beautiful attire. Iron Man is my favorite Marvel character, so this is just hitting me right in the gonads, man. This one is a beautiful piece, and if Mattel were to make this, I think they could do just as good as Mac. Um, Probably not, let's be real. But nonetheless, you know, he got all the details in here, man. I don't know if they'd be able to make this gear at this high level and highly detailed. But if they were able to, I would I would freaking take it, man. I would love to see it. And uh, I had to plug this in here. Just such a beautiful piece. I need to commission something like this because it is just a work of art and a attire that I would love to see 
from Mattel. But let's move on to the last one, guys. Shout out to Beast Nation 2020 for this one on IG. A bunch of 2001 era canes, man. Just a bunch of 2001 singlet canes. And I got all the different tires right here. We need more throwback canes. You know, it's just crappy. I know we're getting one this year with the Decade of Dominance. But I do want to see a cane in different singlets like this. Back in 2001, I think this is all of the gears that he rocked through the early part of 2001, later 2000, I think. So I really want to see this. I, I just, good lord, man. Beast Nation is the best at the cane customs. These figures are perfect from head to toe. And you got all the different gears in there. What a nostalgic pop for me. And I just think about Chef Boyardee commercials when I look at this shit, man. Such, such a beautiful... A uh, piece of work here from Beast Nation But that is not all we have guys I have a few more here that I want to plug in here uh, I do want to also include The Usos, now we did get A figure or figures of these In the battle packs of these guys from Wrestlemania 35 I think, I think it was Wrestlemania 35 I, I could be wrong about that But the white attires, I remember when they Came out, I think I tweeted at Bill and I said, bro, we got to have these figures. I tagged him on IG. I said, bro, we got we got to have these in elite figure form. We did get them in basic form, but I really want to see them in elites, maybe with cloth hoodies, with, you know, white shorts and white sock molds and new shirts and shoes and shit. That would be fantastic, man. That is, this is uh, one of my epitoma figures that I would like to see in elite figure form. And that is the Usos, man. Those are beautiful. Those white attires, man. Woo! And now we have one last figure, guys, and I had to throw in a Demon Finn Balor. If we're not talking about an NXT 2020 Finn Balor, you know, heel Finn Balor with all his updated tattoos, we're going to talk about a Demon Finn Balor, and I think this is supposed to be SummerSlam 2017 where he took on Bray Wyatt, and this is one that I would love to see as well. I thought this was some underrated paint. I don't think a lot of people mention this paint when they talk about Finn Balor customs and Finn Balor attires that we want to see from Mattel, so I wanted to include it, and I think that is my full list. I think, I don't know how many that first freaking was guys but if i left any off that you guys want to see please let me know down in the comment section below i would love to see what attires you guys would like to see that would be really awesome so hit me down in the comment section what do you guys want to see from mattel what attires would you like to see but that is going to do it for my list. I tried my best to think on it. I tried to go with some that I think the community would really want to see. And if I left out some, please let me know, guys. I know we still have guys that aren't made yet, such as the Viking Raiders and guys like that. But we will get them soon enough, I promise. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.